Okay, Elton, over to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time. I just want to get people fired up. Here we are, the third week of this year, and it's an amazing time. And I just want to make sure that you're inspired, that you're you know, ready to go, ready to go. I'm, I'm going to, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to light this match, and we're going to get fired up. <laughs> you're gonna be so fired up you're gonna be ready to take off i'm ready to take off man ready to take off that's right that's right that's right I... Hi, doom like the yeah you know, like, uh, like the, the the bunny rabbit and and uh the, i just the, saw the donna get on did anybody see her? is she in the waiting room or oh, there she is yes. uh -huh. okay all so right we... We're about to light this fire, and I'm going to get us motivated. And so have, have, how many of you have been really, really busy? Anybody in here who's really, really busy? I mean, you're just so, so busy. I mean, you're just trying to get stuff done. And, and I tell you, it's just, you know, I, you're wondering how you're able to do it. And I'm wondering how you're going to get it done. Anybody who's trying to figure that out, you got so many things to do. Wait, somebody's got sound going on. Okay. Somebody's sound is I'm on. I'm going to give you a secret okay. recipe. All right, all right. A all secret right. recipe on how you're able to get things done and you got 24 hours and it seems like, you know, it's taking 17 of them to get what you need to get done. I know, I know, I know the feeling. Here I, you know, started the day early this morning, and I have just been going and going and going and going and going. And seems like I've just gotten two thirds of what I plan to do today. But here's the secret. Here's the secret. Listen carefully. Here's the secret. Thank God for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God for tomorrow. You know what I mean? Thank God for tomorrow. We'll do what we can to do today. And if you're not able to get it all done, then thank God for tomorrow. I want to just uh, lift, it, lift you up. You all look so fabulous. And there's so much going on here, and, uh, and and we just keep on going, just keep on going, just keep on going. Now we'll take a minute and uh, just a uh, prayerful moment, a prayerful moment. There's so much that is happening, and I want you to be very prayerful about what you face, you know. And uh, uh, man, it's just can't figure it all out. But let's say a prayer. Uh, and just whisper the name of I'm gonna count. Count the three, you say Jesus. Ready? One, two, three, Jesus. Jesus. One, two, three, Jesus. Jesus. Three, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, count on him, count on him. His grace is amazing. His grace, his grace is truly amazing. And, uh, and I'm praying for you and each of your households. And I'm praying for healing. I'm praying for breakthrough. I'm praying for the victory in his righteous holy name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. So, so with that being said, we got some great authors here tonight, and they're going to share some amazing feats and information with us today. Uh, you know, as I think through uh, what 22 was like, and now we're on to 23, and uh, 23, you know, has, has, will have its moments. But uh, and I'm counting on the victories for 23 already. I'm counting for the victories of 23 already. And uh, and for you, uh, we're going to be bigger people, you know, uh, I, and this is something that I've been thinking about for you, you know, and I know that you say to yourself, how can I get more out of this year ahead than I did last year? Well, one thing is that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna expect more from yourself. And, you know, and then, you know, you're really gonna push yourself a little, little harder than you did last year. You're gonna push yourself. You're gonna push yourself in a way that you didn't push yourself last year. 
you know, and tactically, sometimes I'm sitting saying to myself, okay, Elton, here's what you're going to need to do. Here's what you're going to need to do. You're going to need a better strategy. You're going to need a better strategy in terms of the people that you're meeting. You're going to need a better strategy in terms of, you know, how you tactically work through challenges. You're going to need a better strategy in terms of, you know, what they say, if you, what, uh, insanity is doing the same thing you did last year and then ex expecting a better result. You can't do the same thing you did last year and expect a better result. You're going to have to do something a little different. So, you know, what I've done, and, I, and it works, I've taken and I've listed my challenges. I've taken and I've listed my challenges to 10. And I say, and now, <laughs> you know, I say to myself now, now you, you, you're still not going to be able to make a dollar go further than it did last year. <laughs> you know, you can, but a dollar still is not going to go further than it did last year unless unless you have more of them mm -hmm. if you have more dollars then you'll be able to get more results from your dollars so so now uh, it, 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 2022 a dollar still had its you know what, what did you say i don't know the value uh but if you go to different markets you might be able to get a different dollar result you know, and uh, and it's like um, currency values. You know, I look at currency values now. I trade in uh, the uh, the. You know, I I don't do the 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 the, the uh, my money trading, but I do. You can now. This this is gonna blow you away. Now, because okay, this is something you're gonna think about. Now, I don't know if you want to do it. But uh, you're going to look at how I can work with what my values are and try to find a way to save more. You know, whatever money you're getting, put, you have to put money away. Put money away in a safe deposit. And every day, if you will put money in your bank, even if it's a small piggy bank, put money some kind of way, put money in your bank. Come on, put money in. I don't care. Always, every day, put something in your savings. Put something in your savings. As a matter of fact, I haven't seen him all year, but Gary Chan is here <laughs> to tell us about that. Yeah, happy He's new here. year. Hey, Gary, happy new year. <laughs> happy new year, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I have to take over. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Happy so, new year, happy new year. Let all of you say something to us. And I want you to be ready. I want you to share something with us that will motivate us. Yeah. That, that will has motivated you. Okay. And, and I'll come back and put a finish on it. Okay. Okay. So, Claire, uh, hello and welcome everybody to the Bright Side Global Trade TV podcast online as well as a multi channel magazine. I'm so pleased to tell you that uh, we've had Migdalia, who was supposed to be here wrote us a beautiful article on health and prosperity and why these are related. Uh, we also had a beautiful article written by Reginald who has been a real contributor to the magazine. And I'm so happy that officially I was able to send you all uh, today uh, a copy of these articles. And I'm hoping that we can go into print by March uh, when we will host uh, our event. Uh, so just a few announcements. Um, we will not be doing any Monday events um, for the month of February. We're gonna just take a little break and uh, revisit as Elton said, it's an, important to see all the things that are working and not working and analyze how to move forward. But I will do one Zoom a month. And if you, it, because it's gonna be a daytime event, if you miss it, I'll have the recording and you can watch it on demand. So I just wanna make that announcement uh, that we'll be doing one Zoom a month instead of doing so many events and we're gonna take it easy and, uh, and slow down. And I want everyone to begin with a quick introduction. Uh, tell us about how health and prosperity is related to you. And uh, we have with us a doctor, Dr. Adams. Some of you may have met her. 
and um, keynote and sponsor is Colonel Donna Four, who we know very well. And I will have everyone introduce themselves and then we'll bring Donna to do her presentation. And I believe there's a video today. Uh, we're very excited to see. And uh, Ramona is gonna help us with um, Donna's slides. So let's begin with the introductions. And I wanna begin with Dr. Adams because we've been trying to get her for like three, three events and she's been so busy. So Dr. And, uh, Adams, we love your book because when we started the group, we had talked so much about power and empowerment. And uh, we, we love the book because it's kind of like uh, an infrastructure for our group. Um, and I'm not gonna take away the thunder, but please do introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about me power and then we'll go around the room and I'll bring you back when Donna is finished her presentation. So go ahead. Awesome. Hi, everyone. My name is Lanisha Adams. I am a dissertation coach and I really my mission in life is to really revolutionize how we learn, putting who we are at the center of that. I think a lot of times we emphasize I in mean, 20 year educator, we emphasize knowledge of and information instead of knowledge of self. So me power is, is all about that. I can go into it more a little bit later, but so nice to be here with everyone and so nice to meet you all. Yes, finally, we've been trying to get you and I hope you're feeling much better. Uh, so it's great to see you. Uh, I know Migdalia just can't get over your book and you and she's so excited about it. Uh, it's just that like you've put it together so well, me, power. It's just so great. Everybody really, this is a great book and I'd really encourage everyone to get it. So I'm gonna go in this order since you, you we started off with you. Um, so Gary Chan, a happy new year. Tell us about the rabbit. Uh, we're so excited. The it's the, the cutest, cutest thing in the world to have the year of the yet rabbit. So yeah, tell us all about it. Yes, uh, happy uh, Lunar New Year, everyone. I'm uh, calling from Los Angeles, California, and not too far from the incident that you heard uh, about that. a couple of days ago <laughs> about, I guess, 15 minutes drive from me. But Thank goodness everything is fine on my end here and the community here. Um, basically, my mission is to assist business owners nationwide in all industry to recover funds, especially in this challenging economy. With all the news that you hear that about the looming recession, if we are not already in it, uh, and the pandemic, we are still not completely out of it. I think we just have to kind of, this is probably the, the new normal, but uh, basically what we do is we try to educate the business owner who are in some capacity affected by the pandemic. Um, and the basically the funds that we can help recover do not need to be returned back because it's not a loan. So uh, we also assist the nonprofits as well as uh, places of worship. I would love to have the opportunity to connect with all of you to uh, to learn way to see how we can collaborate. Thank you so much. That sounds wonderful. And I look forward to it too. And once again, our deepest, um, we're so saddened by, by the behavior of people. Uh, and so we'll reach out to the community and yeah. uh, I'm glad that you're okay. Yeah. Um, so thank you for that. Also, we just learned that there were to pray for those people as well. I don't know what's going on in Atlanta, but we got to find out. Um, yeah, so crazy world. Like, yeah, we're really living in a crazy world. But thank you for joining us tonight. Um, so, Jean, I'm so glad you look so much better. We've been praying for you and rooting for you. So, I'm so glad you could join us today. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, not a fun way to start off the new year, but I can only go up from here. So <laughs> you look great. Though. You Good look great. Happen. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> yep. Um, what was the question again? Because I don't remember. <clears throat> introduce uh, yourself and what you do. And the question is, how is health and prosperity related? That's the topic have all the money in the world and if you don't have your health you have nothing yeah health, health and prosperity go hand in hand my name is Jean Martin I'm an independent sales rep for Avon 
uh, available for all your uh, skin so soft and bud guard needs. Uh, if you want to take care of your skin, give me a call and we can talk about what your needs are. Uh, I'd be happy to help. Thank you. Yeah, that's good, awesome. Good, yeah. And if you stay, uh, we'll let you present a little more, a little later. So depending on your schedule. So we have Brenda and I've been having a great time with Brenda. I've been talking to her through Christmas into the new year. <laughs> and, uh, you know, one of the brands that uh, I've been most risk, risk, everybody requests all the time is Tupperware. And especially now with everybody doing meal prep and putting their food away and everything. So Brenda, tell us all about it. And I'm so happy to see you. And Brenda is calling from, new, uh, from Detroit. Hi, happy new year, everyone. Hey. My name is Brenda Rockingham and I sell the world's best plastic, Tupperware. <laughs> uh, Tupperware has been around 76 years. This year makes 76 years. I've been doing it for seven years. So um, we have, we have, look, we have the world's best plastic. I don't know what more I can tell you. It lasts forever. It has a lifetime warranty on it. If you have any already in your possession, uh, crack chip broke or warped, I can do a warranty on it and get you a new piece. Oh, oh very good. <laughs> and make, that <laughs> makes it very wonderful. So it's not like the cheapo plastic uh rubber made I, I i i hate that stuff rubber made and gladware no it has <laughs> nothing on top of <laughs> right. oh, oh boy. boy well if you stay on we let you present a little later but please okay. stay on. Mm -hmm. uh my next uh person who we absolutely love is britfix and they are importers from the uk and uh, if you stop by the store, you'll spend more than you need to because their chocolates are sensational and everything is absolutely authentic. And for people like me who love Marmite and Coleman mustard and everything, they, <laughs> they have it all. So Jackie uh, also delighted us for Christmas. We had a little Christmas, she bought Christmas crackers. So, so Jackie is expanding and growing. So uh, losing weight, looking great. So tell us all about it. Um, well, I am Jackie Longwell. My husband, Roger, and I, we run Britfix in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Our booth is within another store called the Shops at uh, Royal Marketplace. And as Elizabeth said, we, um, we bring in some food from England. I also work with importers on this side of the ocean. And so between all of the people we deal with, we're able to, for the most part, accommodate um, all, the, all those British desires for food that they have. <laughs> um, this is, we are going into our third year and uh, we feel very blessed because it started very small and it has just grown. So uh, we're very thankful for our faithful customers so, and as far as prosperity and health, I have to echo Jean, um, you know, without your health, you really cannot prosper because it will always be a hindrance. So um, perhaps as we get older, we, we tend to <laughs> think more about our health, but we really shouldn't. We should start from the get go. And um, that's my opinion, so. That's awesome. Well That's said. Awesome. Well, well said. said. Mm. So over to the Queen of Goldsboro, and uh, they're busy doing a children's event. Uh, you know, no child should be left hungry, and they are starting um, a food distribution. They were doing it for seniors, and now they're doing it for children. So I can't wait to hear about it. So over to you, Nancy and Ernestine. Tell us all about it. Well, I was going to talk about that, but I would like to share this with you. I would like for the lady that sells Tupperware to know I have a, a bowl that I purchased from a little girl when she was about eight or 10. Now she is uh, grown and married and my bowl is still good. 
That's what you want to talk about. So over to the Staff Sergeant Reginald. Let me tell you, he's a two-time award winner with Brightside. He won the Trailer Trailblazer Award, which we did in April last year. And he also won the challenge. And Jackie completed the challenge as well. Uh, so we're going to reintroduce the 30-day challenge in the month of May. And so we are going to make him the chairman for this year. And so we've already started working earnestly on the curriculum. And Jackie will be calling you to be on the committee. Uh, so over to you, Reginald. Tell us all about it and what all you right. do. Good evening, everyone. My name is Reginald Lyerly, and I'm chiming in from Durham, North Carolina. Um, I, I do a, a lot of different things uh, for my local community. I'm involved with insurance, legal services, business capital. I help families. I help individuals. I help businesses. My goal for 2023, help as many people as possible and make this world a better place. You think about health and prosperity. It's important to all of us. Uh, there are going to be things that we can control. And there are also going to be things that we cannot control. So with that, I'm going to leave you with this quote from Jim Rohn. It's not what happens. It's what you do that determines your future. There are things we can control. There are things we cannot control. But we all, um, over the course of our lives, we learn that serenity that's very important to continue um, in the future. Thank you for the opportunity uh, to speak with you all. It's good with you. Have a wonderful 2023. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Priscilla, I'm going to bring you back because I'm going to lose. Uh, Ramona has got to do the slides. And I told her 730. Ramona, I'm on time. So uh, Priscilla does beautiful jewelry. And she's going to show us some jewelry. And uh, she's been our sponsor for two years. And thank you, thank you, thank you. We could not do anything without our sponsors. So thank you, Priscilla. Um, Colonel Donna Four is our sponsor and she has worked so hard on this presentation. So I hope you will give her your full attention. And I don't okay. need to- Elizabeth, you'll have to make me a co-host. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. And um, uh, we are so, so, um, hold on. Let me see what I'm doing, uh, Regina. Uh, Okay, I'm going to make you the co-host. Uh, okay, you're a co-host now. All right, so um, Ramona, I'm fine. Uh, so I don't need to introduce you to her. She's wonderful. And here we go. Colonel Donna Four will tell you all about it. Donna? So good evening, everybody. It's uh, great to be here. I'm sorry I'm not on camera, but I'm actually driving to uh, home, and I'm several hours away. So uh, what I've got tonight for everybody, a little bit about myself. I am a 30-year Air Force veteran. I actually had at least a few years at um, Seymour Johnson there in Goldsboro. So I'm really familiar with and love the area. For those of you that live there, it's, it's a tremendous place to be. Um, I now work for one of the oldest life insurance companies in America, named Mutual Omaha. What I've got for you tonight is something a, a lot different than what I normally do. Normally I have a slide deck and we go through several ideas, but because I couldn't um, you know, join you in the way I normally would, I found a video that I think will be interesting as well as thought provoking. So um, I don't know if Ramona's ready to key up the video, but we can watch that. It's very short, and then we can have a quick discussion about what's in the video. So, Ramona, let me know when you're ready or have it prepared. When it comes to retirement planning, there are three kinds of people. The guy who doesn't think about or plan for retirement, you don't want to be that guy. The gambler type who feels the only way to grow her money is to risk losing it all in the stock market. And the play it safe type who shudders at the thought of losing a single penny of his savings, even if it means sacrificing any opportunity for that money to grow. For years, retirement planning has been vastly limited to choices that fall on one side of the scale or the other. And so, money savvy people tend to invest in two, three, 14, 50 different products in an attempt to balance the scale. 
But what if there was a way to capture the upside potential of a risky product and the downside protection of a secure product all in one solution? Well, hold on to your potatoes. Let's talk about IUL. Index Universal Life can harness the best parts of both sides of the financial seesaw. IUL is a form of permanent life insurance that, whoa, 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 hang on. Life insurance has changed in the last 20 years. You know it as something that just pays out when you die. But these days, life insurance can actually be one of the most powerful wealth accumulating vehicles on the market. One huge benefit of IUL is the ability to harness the power of compound interest to potentially generate large amounts of non-taxable cash value within the policy. This cash value can be accessed later in life to fund a happy, healthy, non-taxable retirement. Your IUL's performance directly reflects the performance of the stock market index while implementing a 0% floor and a market cap, usually around 10%. So your cash value participates in the growth of the market up to the cap and sits safely on the sidelines when the market goes down. You forego some of the upside to alleviate all of the downside. So zero is your hero. With IUL, you won't spend a single day of your accrual making up for losses. Pretty cool, right? Well, it gets better. When designed properly, IUL can serve as a retirement vehicle based on a financial chassis of life insurance protection. And because of IRS tax code exemptions for life insurance, your cash value can create a tax advantaged way to generate more income in retirement. That's something your 401k or IRA simply can't offer. So what might an IUL look like for you? Let's talk specifics. Larry here is in decent health, a non-smoker, and contributes $500 a month to his IUL starting at age 35. This contribution is conservatively projected to generate $500,000 of cash value by the time Larry retires at age 65. If he chooses to, Larry can turn on a non-taxable income stream from his IUL, giving him $60,000 of income per year to supplement his retirement. And the longer he waits to access this money, the larger it can grow. That death benefit is even accessible when Larry's still living if he suffers a critical, chronic, or terminal illness. So if Larry gets sick, he's covered. If he dies unexpectedly, his family is covered. And if neither of those things happen, the money Larry's paid into his IUL over the years can fund a happy, healthy, tax-advantaged retirement. Assuming Larry lives to age 90, he will have contributed a total of $186,000 into his IUL, drawn out $1.5 million in non-taxable retirement income, and still leave behind a very sizable tax-free death benefit for his heirs. The person who shared this video with you can show you what an IUL might look like for you given your specific age, health, contribution level, and retirement plans. Contact them today to get the specific numbers and see if IUL is a fit for you.
S and P 500. Now the S and P 500, unlike the big stock market, is only the choice of stocks. That's why it's called the S and P 500. It's a perform at a high level. Now say it's a down year, like we've been experiencing, with a index that's a lot of solid. The money that's accruing in that, even if there's a, a downturn in the economy or the, the any reason it doesn't do particularly well. You have a floor of zero, which means you'll never lose money, ever, ever lose money inside of that life insurance market. And if, it, and if the stock market is the rebound, then, and the S&P does well, then you'll get a higher. Donna, you're breaking up. We can't hear you. Uh, the sound is is crackling. I don't know. Is it good for everyone? Or just for me? Can everybody hear me now? So I just want to stress the fact that it's a secure instrument that is indexed to the S and P 500, which is a very stable place to put money, and that you'll never lose any money. If anything, you'll only gain money because the S and P does pretty better than the, the rest of the stock market because it's the, the better stock. Now, let me, let me ask you guys some questions. What did you hear in this video that got your attention? Anybody? Tax-free. <laughs> That's what got me. Tax-free. Yep. Never taxed. Right? The IRS will never tax that money inside this policy. What else? That is what did you learn from that? That you could take the money out when you needed to. Uh, that was pretty, like a big savings account. You know? Yeah. Um, Jack, what did you hear? We can't hear you. <laughs> no, I, it, uh, well, I heard the tax free, but also just the amounts that you can accrue, especially if you start younger. So. So here's a scenario to think about. Say all of you in this room have a savings account, and say you're putting a hundred dollars, maybe a hundred fifty dollars a month into your savings account. That's a good thing. Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay. Um, and say that that savings account gets a point oh eight interest rate. Right? That's what typically a savings account gets. If you're really, really lucky, you might get one percent. With the usual Omaha index universal life policies right now, even though we're in a down economic uh, situation right now across the country, interest rate, five, not 0.08, not one, but five percent interest rate. Okay, so I've already told you that you get five percent more interest than you would with the same account that you're already using. So I want you to think about this as another place to securely invest your money in a tax-free asset with a higher rate of return that you, that you can get from a savings account. And yet you have a tax-free advantage of the fact that it's built upon a chassis of life insurance. And the best deal of all is you've still got a large pouch your family when something happens to you. You've got money to spend while you're still alive. Your money you just bought from your own. You've created your own bank. Inside the life insurance policy. And then when that day happens and you go to heaven, your family gets a big payout, which you come off of the life insurance policy. So I want you to think about this in three different kind of opportunities a large life insurance policy for your family, a backup retirement plan for you that's tax free, and third, a safe investment that will never go negative. Like, for example, I know some of the people in this room have some kind of investment right now that went negative in the last year or two. This one will never go negative. It's got a four zero. We lost her. Uh, okay. All right. Give her one more minute. She is the sponsor. Okay. Donna? We've lost you. Completely now. You hit a pocket. <laughs> you hit a pocket. 
Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, she'll bring, let her come back in a minute. Yeah, give her uh, one moment. Uh, uh, Donna, we've lost you. Uh, Donna, we've lost you. While well, she's coming back okay, to Okay, she's us. left completely. She's uh, I, just, I wanna share one thing with you that uh, this is a very important aspect is that, you know, and, and while she's coming back, if you do, I need you to do two things with someone else. Two things with someone else in the course of your day. If you'll do two things, not thinking about yourself, two things with someone else, I guarantee that you'll get more productivity out of your day. I guarantee that you'll get more productivity out of your day. Two things. Even if you tell uh, someone, call someone, one up and tell them about somebody that you met. And, and if you like uh, call someone up and invite them to a uh, our call. Invite them to our call. Uh, it's something very simple, but if you'll do that, I guarantee that you'll get a result from that that you can't comp compilate. Yeah, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. So, so yeah, Ramona is leaving us. Thank you, Ramona. That was very helpful. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Ramona. Thank you, Ramona. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Donna, uh, can we hear you? Yeah, I just want to wrap up by saying if anything that you heard tonight is something you want to get more information on, um, it'll be fine information in the chat. I will try and do that if I can pull off the road safely. But just get with Claire. She has all my contact information. I'm also on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So there are ways for you to find me uh, on social media and we can connect. So I've been privileged and honored to be with you tonight. I thank you for your time and attention. God bless. Thank you, Donna, thank you, so Donna. much. Yeah, thank now, you. I, I got to give kudos yeah. to the Wootens. <laughs> because they are the greatest service person people in this area. And they work tirelessly to make sure that people have something to eat. Uh, they work tirelessly to make sure they provide food for our local personnel. And I know they have a list of people they provide foods for. Uh, now, I didn't realize the service personnel who locally don't rely on food banks on a daily basis. Yeah. About 14% of our local military personnel need and require food support. And so by helping those people out, and uh, 14, and now, uh, so that you know, about our local area is about 35% uh, military, 35% military. And by helping uh, that number, 35%, uh, 14% uh, of the people rely on food support. And so that's a big deal. Yeah. So, so if you can help uh, people who need, and now also um, the, there were uh, different uh, um, support organizations that um, did regular food banks. Now that'll go on to probably March, I suggest, uh, maybe longer than that. So if you can supply information about where those people can go, big deal, big deal. That's one of your two items, one of your two items. Yeah. Now I want you to get involved with this. I want you to get involved with helping other people do two things for other people every day. Two, two things for other people. I tell you, if you'll do that, you'll see a, a double in the number of people that come back to you and say, yes, yes. When you offer a particular job prospect or particular uh, opportunity prospect, you'll see that your yeses come back double. You'll see a yeses come back double. Guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. Okay, <laughs> so, that's enough of that. So over to uh, Dr. Adams. I'm so glad you're here today. And uh, as I said, uh, we are also doing our 30-day challenge and we always include books and challenges from the books. Uh, so me power, um, I was reading an, uh, a, a saying from Oscar Wilde. I don't know if any of you know him, he's but he's author. one of my favorite authors. Uh, author. He said, 
to love oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance now we are in the in the season of love because uh, february is valentine's day and uh, uh, dr Mc, uh, so if you don't love yourself that's a big problem uh, and if you don't forgive yourself, that's a second problem. Um, so I'm going to let her do her thing. But this is a great book. And I will make sure you have the link so you can get it. So we're so delighted to have you. And you're from Washington, D.C. So welcome. Yes. Tell us about your book. Uh, <clears throat> Alicia, Alicia. Thank Tell you so much. Um, I want to start off uh, by sharing something that I don't think I've shared publicly, widely uh, in, in speaking because I'm, I'm new to this managing it. So nearly one year ago to the day, um, almost to the day, I survived a cardiac arrest. Um, let me set, set the stage properly. Um, my passion and mission in life with over 50% of doctoral students not completing their degrees, um, that stat upsets me. It really drives me like no other. And that fuels my mission to champion current and future students in the pursuit of pursuing uh, a graduate degree and completing a graduate degree in record time. So I work with individuals and institutions in pursuit of my mission. I'm also a wife and a mother of two toddlers, uh, two and a half and a four and a half year old boys. And at the beginning of 2021, for the first time during the pandemic, our entire family contracted COVID from another child at the in-home daycare. Yeah. We were, you know, we were very um, hyper vigilant. Like I had a baby during the pandemic and I was not going out. I was, our life was so limited and we were being so careful, uh, yet we still came down with it. And I was the sickest in the family. I was uh, up under the bed. Like, I mean, oh, I think, Two weeks, I, I don't think I got out of it. But after three weeks, you know, I lost my sense of smell and all of that, but it came back and I started feeling better. And this evening, uh, I or this day, uh, DC sports team won and pizza was half off. Pizza's a, a big deal in my family uh, whenever the kids can get it. My husband loves pizza too. And so while he went to uh, pick up the pizza, I sat down on the couch to close my eyes. Two weeks later, I woke up in the ICU. Ooh. Ooh. So like many have said tonight, if we don't have our health, we really don't have anything. And to prioritize that and to center it is, is so key to a message of mental and physical health that I am speaking on today. My name is Dr. Lanisha Adams. I'm the award-winning author of Me Power. In my book, Me Power, I argue that for centuries, it's time for a new definition for the word empower. So this word empower has been used in English since the 17th century, but how often do we stop and think about what it actually means? If you look it up in the dictionary, it means to give someone else the authority or the power to do something. The key words here are give and, and to give away. So empowerment means you're tr literally transferring your power over to somebody else. But what about the power that comes from within you, which you manifest when you become more of you, creating change and working to reach your maximum potential? So by shifting this thinking from empower to me power, we become the active agents that create the change we want to see. So an inherent in traditional definitions of the word, like I said before, is the idea that someone else will quote unquote empower us. But empowerment is not something we receive like a gift. It's not something we do. It is a process in which we engage. Me power challenges the notion that we need to be empowered by others. Me power must be constructed from within. So when you say, when you ask me like, what is me power? Me power is empower. Me power equals knowledge of self and principled action in five key ways uh, and practices, right? Embrace your barriers, focus on your strengths, speak for your life, choose your guide and ritualize your reflection. And I wrote this book for those in the business of empowering others, particularly educators focused on how to get students to find their purpose, um, own their learning and reach their full potential. So if you're an educator, a parent, a student, or anyone grappling with the question, who do I want to be? Me Power will help you discover your self identity. It's not fixed, right? So it might be 40 or 50 or 60, and who you something happens in your life and you have to contend with who you are after 
said thing occurred. And that's true as we navigate it because there's nothing static. It's ever expanding as we move and groove through life. So my heart stopped beating due to cardiac arrest. And I've come to learn the difference between a heart attack and cardiac arrest. While a heart attack is a circulation problem, cardiac arrest stops the heart from be beating and the brain and lungs and other organs don't get the blood and oxygen they need. I was out of it for half an hour and I, by the grace of God, I'm here today without any brain damage. Um, every, for every minute that the, uh, the brain doesn't get oxygen, you uh, are killing off massive cells. So my life has forever changed since that moment, nearly one year ago. It's almost a year, um, six days from now. And um, I managed this chronic health condition as someone who is under 40 with two ch children who are toddlers. Two years ago, the first time I'd ever been in the hospital um, before this incident was when I gave birth to my, to my sons. That's the only time I had ever been in the hospital. And so um, I think it's it's very important as we think about um, as we're moving through life, as we're adapting. Um, you know, I, I drink green smoothies daily. I'm a pacemaker powered Peloton rider now, and I will continue to eat healthy so that I can stay strong and, and healthy as long as possible and not let my heart condition control my life. Me power is a new definition of empowerment based on an ever evolving knowledge of self. Join me in the journey um, on social media. I'm at, at Ed Linguist, and you can subscribe to my newsletter, the 331, for a collection of encouraging and provocative reminders that you have more power than you think, and not just you, you in community and in, uh, with others. So three times a month on the third day of the week, I send out this newsletter, and I can guarantee you'll feel more energized, motivated, inspired, and inspired to tackle the world after reading it. Thank you so much for having me, and it's, it's such an honor to be here. Well, you were worth the wait. Uh, just for everybody to know that Dr. Adams was supposed to be with us like almost three times, but I was, I wanted you so much that I said, you know, I told Francesca, we will wait, no problem. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward, uh, Francesca is going to set up a schedule for us uh, because this next month is Black uh, History Month and then we have women uh, in March and I'm looking forward to booking you to speak uh, and be a part of our group and uh, do something grand uh, with the book as well. Uh, so, uh, so well, I'm looking I, I'd like to, to that. thank you for your contribution. Yep. It sounds like you, have, I hate to say this, but perhaps your, your incidences might have woken you up. My goodness. Yeah, there's so much more that you we, can do. We'll keep and you so in much prayer. more yeah. that we can benefit from you for that. And we appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, for I'm that. glad and, you're here your with efforts. us. Yeah, yes. yeah. And, and I don't know. I mean, you know, yeah. uh, let's do what we can do while we can. Thank you so much. Yeah. I encourage you to be you know, there as a champion for your work and yes. effort. And uh, whatever we can do to inspire you to keep doing what you do. Yes. So, so. Now, does anyone have any questions for Dr. Adams? What do you think about me power? This is the, the month of love. So, yeah. 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 We got, Next we, month. Next yeah. month, right. So. We got the, we, we're getting there. All right. But, uh, any comments? before we move yeah, yeah, yeah well thank you thank you so much uh it was wonderful and i see francesca's joined us so thank you francesca for being on uh she has a swag bag magazine and i'm i'm so excited because she's sending us some to give away as prizes as well so francesca can we see you or can you tell us a little bit about the swag bag if muted yes, fancy i can't hear you yeah. <laughs> Greetings. I'm sorry. I actually just finished up a um a meeting. But yes, yeah, so we're sending you all some of our um healing issues that we did last year. And um basically the whole the whole theme of the issue is healing. And but the name of the magazine is Swagger Magazine. So we took the aspect of healing and you know did it, I guess wrote about it from different aspects as i just said i'm sorry y'all i'm kind of rambling but <laughs> but that's um basically what it's about I'm, I'm hoping that you all are going to really enjoy them like we touched on healing from 
uh, the financial aspect, uh, even seduction, um, just it was a lot of different takes, but it was very interesting how the contributors were able to pull everything together. So we'll be sending you all some copies of those. Oh, yeah, we're so excited. But be, um, because of, you know, man, this is important. I think that if there's a way that we can find each of us collectively, that we can find to do some good for other people, while we're working to do good for ourselves. Imagine how big that will be. Imagine the benefit that could offer. We can find something on the way to prosperity. Now, don't, don't forget this, because each one of you, each one of you, no, 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 and not a single one is absent. Each one of you, you're on your way to being prosperous. You're on your way to being prosperous. But on your way, if you could do some good for someone else while you're going there, mm -hmm. what would it be and how could you do it? Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I, I, I see I see each one of you on your way to, to hitting it big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To hitting it big. Yeah. I mean, you had the big lottery there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. You, you're on your way to hitting it big. So what could you do on your way to help someone else? do well too. Think about it. Yeah. Think about it. I just, I, I might ask you at the end of this program what it could be and what it might be. Yeah. But I mean, but you come, when you say that to yourself, you confirm that it will be like that. So okay. we are with Dr. Adams, get the book, Me Power, we'll make sure yes, yes. it's available and uh, we will be uh, sharing this, I think, all through the next two months as okay. well. Okay. And that so was Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Adams and, and Fancy with Swag Bag, and uh, thank you so much for the healing empowerment that we'll be getting not, from the magazine. Nothing can so, replace a good swag bag. I think right. I heard uh, uh, um, uh, President Barack Obama saying, you know, in the days that we live in now, you know, with there's so many challenges and, you know, and you might be challenged to be the person you want to be. He said this and I quote, but you better have some swag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. He said it. You better have some swag. That's right. You know, so that's something to think about. That's something to think yeah. about. Yeah. So what was the one of the best swag bag giveaways that you ever, ever got at an event? Everybody, just do a quick thing about swag bags because we have so much to talk about. Anyone? Uh, okay. Well, ours question. was we went to an Arthur Ashe Foundation dinner years and years yeah. ago. Yeah. And um, we got a pair of tennis shoes. Yeah, yeah. And everyone who came to the event got a pair. And it was fabulous. It was Adidas. really. Uh, they were Adidas. They were, yeah, shoes. they were $80 Adidas shoes. Shoe. So, yeah. And so. we wore them, still have them as a I matter know, of fact. True. But uh, and the idea yeah. was, you know, man, what's that? That's good swag. Yeah. That's good swag. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so, you know, what would you like to have in a swag bag? that you didn't get before. Yep. I mean, you know, it could be something simple. Yeah. Could be something very glamorous. Could be something you, you know, you've never had before. Yeah. But you know, think about it. Think about it. I mean, you know, uh, uh, what can it mean for you down the road? So I mean, our next presenter is Priscilla. We did, we didn't get to show her. Priscilla has been our sponsor and we've always given uh people wonderful gifts because of Priscilla. And she has the amazing jewelry, but it's not just the brand that she represents, but it's just that her eye for jewelry and her style. Well, this woman. Now, this woman can make you look swag. She, she gives uh, good swag. And she does give, she gives good swag. wonderful gifts. She's a great giver. So thank you so much, Priscilla, and over to you. And then I'll bring everybody else to do their networking. We are networking on the Bright Side Global Trade TV podcast sponsored by Colonel Donna Four from Omaha Mutual. Over to you, Priscilla. Okay, tonight, since you brought it up, we are going into love. So this right here is a nice piece. It has the little uh, pearl earrings on a silver necklace. Uh-oh, we here. These are hearts. We have hearts and pearls. We also have a bracelet that goes with it. Oh, that beautiful. 
Yeah, I can see it. It's a little, it's a little blurred. Yeah. Blurry like that. It was focused on me, but now I want to get blurred. <laughs> Are you on a virtual background? Huh? You got to turn your virtual background off. The virtual background, what is that? <laughs> it should be by the, the uh, button for the video. Okay. That says stop video. I'm not on the virtual background. Okay, never mind, just show it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. If you fuss with, are there, okay, yeah. Okay, so, you know, this right here has the bracelet. It has the, it has yep. pearls and hearts. And then we also going into Black History Week next month. So we did the wooden beads. I got Ooh, nice, yeah. Black set with some nice earrings on. And yeah. this right here is like tricolor. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then, you know, this one right here is a real nice one. This is yeah. for Black History. You can yeah. see how. Yeah, that. that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then we have, I have a uh, little stuff like this one right here is new. This is like a uh, mother. It says yeah. mom. This is like that's beautiful. Mom. Yep, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Says mom on it. It's just a lot of things, and and paparazzi is great because it's affordable. You can really look like a million bucks. This right here is a heart shape. Yeah. Is a bracelet. It's one of those top bracelets where you could pull it apart and then tug mm -hmm. it smaller. Just uh, then I had like these little heart shaped earrings. Yeah. This is really getting crazy. But that's a uh, copper color. But I really, really, really like uh, liking the, the, the wooded beads. Yeah. Different. Very modern and very chic. Yes. And they have I have bracelets to go with that too. And I have some wooden earrings, but I ain't want to pull out a lot because I know we'd be pressed for time. So yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking that we had to cancel Tuesday because I was like, I mean third Saturday. Because I'm like everything out, you know. <laughs> But um, I'll make it up to you, Priscilla, because we're working with a, a church. Uh, and so we, we are hoping that um, we will be doing a, a, a big event for Black History Month. So I'll make sure that your jewelry is shown. And so I'll make it up to you. So you will have a few events this month um, that you can come and show the jewelry to. I might not be doing them, but there'll be other people doing them. So I'm going to introduce you to some people. So. Hang on, I've got you covered. <laughs> yeah. So I, I love this group. I, I like listening. And now it's like uh it's a couple of things that I people that I need to get with in the group for some information. And I'm gonna do that. Yeah. And I'll I'll uh, I'll connect you with some people because there's a lot of activities going on this month. So uh, so, so, so definitely be part of it. So we'll keep you posted. Okay. Right. Um, and, and, uh, the one in March is going to be bigger and brighter and better because, uh, we're hoping that Dr. Adams is coming to, to, to town to, to, to talk about the book. So, uh, it's going to be a, a very big event. So it's going to be a lot of, a lot of excitement. So we're excited about that. Okay, so Brenda, 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 do you want to show us some tu Tupperware pieces? I know we're all on meal prep and all this kind of thing. So, yeah. Can I hear you? She's turning on her volume. Yeah, February is a great month, even for you, Dr. Adams, because it's Black History Month. Yeah, unmute, Dr. Uh, I'm uh, just talking while she unmutes. And there's going to be like nothing but events all over the country. So uh, especially vendor events, book signing, a lot of, lot of opportunities. Yeah, the next two months should be great months for everyone. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Brenda, come on. She's coming. Unmute, unmute. 
she's coming. Anyway, that <laughs> I know. All right, we'll give, I'll, I'll we'll, see you working. I'll we'll give you, you a minute. So, uh, Gary Chan, tell us about this refund. Uh, I actually got you Keep working uh, with it, Brenda. Uh, a few clients. Uh, I was on the phone today with 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 a with a bank, and so they were very interested in learning about this. So, tell us a little bit more about it, and um, and also. Um, we are putting together a list of grants because this is a big month for grant writing. Um, so um, I don't know if you know anything about grants, but there's a lot going on this month. So, so go right ahead. Yes, uh, the program that I am sharing with business owners uh, is called ERTC, Employee Retention Tax Credit. It's a federal program that came about at the beginning of the pandemic. The intent of this program is to incentivize business owners for their efforts in keeping the employees while the country was trying to navigate this pandemic because at that time there was no vaccine. So the, the best way to think about this program is the sister program to the PPP loan. That was very popular. A lot of people heard of PPP loan. Yeah. Now, the only distinction is that at the time when the law was written, anyone that applied for the PPP loan would not be eligible. But with the new administration, mm -hmm. in conjunction with Congress, the law has been amended. Now, previous recipient of the PPP loans are eligible to apply for this valuable but untapped resource. So the business owner can get up to 26,000 per employee. So depending on how many W2 employees the business owner has, it can be pretty significant amount. So it, it is something that based on the best estimate, the funds will be depleted in about 18 to 24 months. And, you know, when we deal with IRS, the, the check will be coming back from the IRS. It's very lengthy at time. The average is about four to nine months from the time of application until the receipt of the funds. So what we are trying to do in recent months is trying to get the word out so the business owner are lining themselves up and positioning themselves so that they don't want to wait until the last minute when there's going to be a huge rush of people. And even if they are eligible at that time, the fund may not be eligible, I mean, may not be available for them. So we want to get the word out as to as many business owners who can definitely use it. If they are doing well, wonderful. They can use the fund, you know, whatever thing that they want to do, whether to grow the business or not. If they are struggling, they can use the fund to stay afloat while they navigate through this tough economy. That wow. sounds great, uh, yeah. yeah, Gary. I mean, that sounds exceptional. So how do people get in contact with you about that? I'm going to leave my info in the chat, but uh, the best way will be to go to connectertc.com, connectertc.com. And also, um, you know, we are we are doing a lot. We're doing a magazine now, so we should put an ad. So, uh, like for example, uh, for our women's conference and our black business uh, event next month, uh, we will be talking to a lot of doctors, and so we should tell people about it, and they they could contact you. So I'll call you tomorrow, and we'll see how we can. Uh, get this going so that we can get the message out to people. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you so much, Claire. The, the the thing that I have found over the course of networking event, you know, nationwide to do the virtual format is that unfortunately, many minorities, African American, Asian American, Hispanics are not aware of this resource. And it's, it is very hard, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's very sad because they they have built a business for so many years and they are, for the first time, 
contemplating about shutting up their business because yeah. of this, you know, pandemic and the and the recession. So yeah. it it is uh, frustrating, but I'm trying my best to get the word out, and so I really appreciate the what you're offering. Uh, you know. Yeah. You know, Elizabeth. I mean, for for the uh, the the possibility of connecting to more, uh, yeah. you know, business owners. Yeah, because uh, this is important information. You're absolutely right. And even dentists, you know, they have ten employees, twenty employees. Doctors. And they shut down. Yeah, they shut down the business because oh. of the COVID. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. I, I'll I'll be uh, in touch with you for sure. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. Thank for, you. Right there. Okay, Brenda. Right there. Back to you. Can you can we hear you? <laughs> yes, I had to log off because I had done something and it wouldn't allow me to even cut the uh yeah. the mute back on. So I'm like, I done did something, I done messed up. Mm -hmm. So anywho, I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Elizabeth, we've been we had been talking about yeah. a raffle. Yeah. So I got, I sent you some pictures. I saw that. I saw that. I'm going to raffle off a, this is a chopper. Yeah. And it's a mini chopper, but it is bad as ever. Uh, <laughs> I use a lot of my stuff during the holidays. Uh, I've even used this to chop up some peanuts. My husband loves uh, peanut butter cookies and we have run out of peanut butter. We have peanuts here, so he shelled the peanuts. I put them in the chopper, chopped them up, and made peanut butter. So we're gonna mm -hmm. um, we're gonna raffle yeah, this off, great. right? Yeah. So the way <laughs> we're gonna do it. <laughs> The way we're going to do it, Brenda, is we're going to keep that raffle on our website and everywhere. We're going to run it through Black History Month because uh, okay. we would like to do that for the Black History uh, event that we're hosting on the 23rd. So please put it out on your calendars. On the 23rd. Um, and we'll make sure that... Of February. Yeah, that we okay, will. I will put it down. Yes. Um, yes. And my hair oil... Did you get a picture of it? Are we yes, going to do You sent it to me. Are we going to do the Mrs. B's having sent hair grow yeah. oil? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, <tell> about it. <laughs> okay, well, yes. the, the oil came along from my mom. My mom was a hairdresser. And we were on the phone talking one day. I'm like, Mom, what can I get to make my hair grow? It's like my hair stopped growing. And I'm thinking she's going to tell me to go to Sally's, which was her favorite rest say restaurant, which was her favorite beauty supply. And she didn't tell me that. She told me to pray about it. Okay. It wasn't at the top of my list. I prayed about it once or twice. And the spirit spoke to me during the pandemic, June of the pandemic, and told me to make my own hair grow oil. So this is how this came about. So we can wow. go. We can do both of those. I think my mom, my mom would always say, you don't never listen to me. She up there saying, that girl finally listened to me. <laughs> so that's how the oil <laughs> <laughs> We can work on that. <laughs> I'll be rich if I can bring that back. <laughs> So yeah, so we have some awesome prizes, guys. February is gonna be a great month. I just love February because of three reasons. One is that you've got Valentine's Day, which is one of the biggest shopping events ever. Uh, and yeah. Priscilla and Brenda, maybe we should do some parties in February and bring people okay. to you. Uh, we got some beautiful uh, bowls, so I don't know if you guys, if you, who needs bowls for meal prepping, but Tupperware has them if you need them. <laughs> so so let me know. Let me yeah. know. Yeah. I can, I can help you. Yeah. Well, we like, yeah, send us some of that. Now that's. That's great swag. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Really good swag. This is beautiful. And uh, they actually used uh, this inside of the police officer's vest to, to protect oh them. Yes.
That's how strong this oh. stuff is. Oh, boy. That's mm. awesome. Uh -huh. That's, That's awesome. That sounds phenomenal. Mm. Wonderful. I'm excited. I'm excited. I love the two prizes. So everybody make okay. pay attention. <laughs> Got to attend in the month of February to win these awesome prizes, okay? Yes. Uh, so that's awesome. And then Priscilla will, I already have Priscilla's jewelry. I got to go and find some good photos and uh, position them up. So we're going to have one of the best months of February. So I, I love February because it's Valentine's Day. It's one of the biggest shopping days. And then it's also uh, a Black History Month. So that's amazing. And then it's also Elton's birthday. So oh, I think it's just a right. try. Woo -woo. <laughs> yes. So I think it's just overall, I love February. I think it's a wonderful month. Uh, so, um, so the 23rd is a Thursday and we'll be doing events okay. all day on Thursday. And I'll keep you all, all posted on all the church events as well so that everybody um, gets fun. customers. I, I'm going to make it my goal that we reach more people in the month of February. Uh, all right. So I think I have Reginald wants to go and then I could close up. Good. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, listen, I'm just paying attention to all the bright, uh, bright side swag going on. It's amazing. That's all, that's all I got to say on that. I can't, I, you know, I can't. Um, how am I going to follow that? Really? All this good stuff going on? Really? How am I going to follow that? Okay, yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I don't know how it's going to yeah. work, but I'm going to try. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. You got money in your bag. Yeah. You got money in your bag. Yeah, so that's awesome. Okay, so everybody, please focus on health and. Okay, go ahead, Reginald. Did I interrupt you? Oh no, I'll um, I'll be very very quick. I'll be very very quick. Um, uh, this year, I'm just doing my best to help as many families as possible. Um, when in the final expense industry, help as many businesses as possible with uh, with business capital, um, families, individuals, businesses um, with uh, legal services, whoever whoever needs them. And those are those are my emphases um, for for this year. It, the goal is just to help as many people as I can. Twenty three um, should be a good year, um, and I think that it's good thing that we can get out again and actually talk to people because it's a it's it's a, a, a very it's, as we are segueing into our new normal. It's very different than it was three years ago, but. Um, it gives an air of gratefulness yes, of how far we've came, but also we also have to look at okay now we're here. What we what can we do to build on the future? And do something wrong with them? That's true. That's true. What can we do to build on the future? Donna, do you want to wrap us up? Donna, can we hear you? She's driving. Donna, going one, going twice. Okay, she's driving. All right, so over to you, Elton. Oh, well, uh, I, I want to settle us down and take a, a minute of seriousness here. You know, we've, we're coming off of an amazing what? three years. Like yeah. and, uh, the last three years have been pretty, whoa, treacherous. And we've had to really be careful how we step and also how we handle our friends. You know, and you know, and even when it comes to sharing encouragement, you know, I just want to take a minute and help us understand that you know you have so much to give through the course of the day, to the course of the week, and to the course of your time. How you could in encourage someone, and how you could give people, you know, a, a way through. You know, and I know you've done your best. <laughs> I know you, I mean, you know, I know you've tried as well as you could to encourage people, you know, and I know that you, and if you haven't, let's try this year doing that. Let's try this year doing the best you can to encourage your friends and even those people who you don't consider to be your friends and even those people who need your encouragement, even those people 
who need to hear an improving and a confident and you know you just don't know who needs a word of inspiration you know and when you meet people that do go get it go get, give them a word of inspiration that will you know it's kind of like you know uh, uh, looking at people and seeing what you could do to help them get better or help them be better or help them try to be better and, you know, and I, I would talk to a friend of ours from time to time, and it's been tough for her. But she's had people, lots of her friends and, 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 and loved ones have passed away. And she, it's hard, it's hard for her. And so, you know, and so at, at every turn, we try to do what we can to encourage her, encourage her spirit. And, and you know, and as it goes though, you have to keep pushing people forward. Sometimes they won't hear the first time. Sometimes they won't hear the second time. It may, be, it may take the third or fourth time for them to hear your words of encouragement. But more than anything, you want them to hear your love. You want them to hear your love. It's not about making people feel funny or bad. It's just about them feeling that you love them. You want to see them do better and be better. Uh, it's, it's said that when you know better, you can do better. And so I, I'm, we want to take this opportunity to make sure that one, you here right now, you know, we love you. We, you know, we love you and we want to see you win. We're right there. We want to see you win. Ah, ah, ah. You know, and if we got to fight for you to help you understand that we know that you're winners. We know that you want us. You, you know that you know. When you know that you know and you know that you know, I know you are all winners. Let me say it again. I know that you're all winners. Don't care what the world says. Don't care what, you know, the suggestions are made. Don't care about none of that. I know you're all winners and you're God's champions. And you're the Lord's favorite. You're the Lord's favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. He favors you. He favors you. He favors you. You just have to press on. And we're going to be right here for you like that. We're going to be right here pressing you forward to let you know that we're, we believe in you and that we believe that you can do what the Lord said that you can do. Now, you got to listen now. You got to listen. You got to listen. The Lord is already saying it. And he wants you to be on top on top of the world, on top of the world. So whatever we can do to help you, whatever we can do to make sure you're encouraged, whatever we can do to make sure we know that the doors are always open, that we have a saying here on a regular basis. When we're about to slow up, I need you to rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. Rub them together, rub them together, rub them together. And I need you to share your love and share the love that God has for you. You're, you're his benefic, benefactor. And he's going to use you. He's going to use you. He's using you in every single way he can. And so you need to know that you're, the doors are always open. And we pray that when you're driving and you're on your way, that you get green lights all the way. Green lights all the way. You know what I mean? I mean, I can go through 15, 20 lights and then green lights all the way. Green lights all the way. So you, that lets you know that what we're saying is true. It lets you know that what we're saying is true and you're, the, you're, you're gonna do great things. You're gonna do great things, great things, great things, great things. You believe that? Yeah. Great things, great things. Don't sweat it. Don't hassle. Don't be discouraged. You press on. God's got a, a favorite word for you. You get up in the morning and there's nothing but you know, kind of push back. Just know God's got it made for you. It's already set up and it's going to be delivered and you just have to be in his will. So with that being said, we're going to end short in early tonight, but we're right here for you. We love you and uh, be stay tuned. Stay tuned because there's much more to come. You know, and, and in his favor, we pray that the Lord blesses every household with, with favor, with, with, with benefit, 
with breakthrough, with uh, inspiration, and our prayers for you. Our prayers for you. So don't hesitate. Don't doubt. Yeah. Just get up in the morning believing that your way is clear. Yes. We pray. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Amen. And so don't forget the next event is the 23rd of February. So we'll catch up then. Okay. All right. Bye. Be well. Godspeed. Good night. God bless. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. On Facebook, this Got is Right Global Trade. Make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up. If you buy Tupperware or photos or the book or any of the items that were presented to you today, make sure that you take a photo and snap it and we'll enter you for the drawing for this month. All so right. this is going to be a big month for us and lots to look forward to. So bye. Right. So long. So long. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>